Hey everyone, hey everyone. This is Earth Angel, Goddess Oracle, back from the reading for the collectives. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers. Welcome. All right, so first thing first, you guys know I am not a tarot reader, I am a prophetess. I use cards just to connect with you guys, just to connect with the overall energies for the collectives and their person. Over here is a self love journey. We go through the growth through, we take those lessons to create blessings out of everything that we go through. So I don't do personal readings. I don't answer personal questions. I focus on the things you guys need to know, not want to know. So if you guys want what I offer, it's called a Healer's Corner's Message. And that is a message from your spirit guides and your angels. Exactly what you need to know, not what you want to know. So you can simply go on the community board, see how to receive a message from me. 1818 is a donation. Please follow the steps on the community board. Please allow 21 days for me to get back to you guys. All right, so I'm a tap in, y'all. Y'all already know I'm on vacay. But we got this nice pre-recorded video for you guys. Everything that I offer is on my community board. I want one of my moderators to put my website down. So if you guys want me as your holistic life coach, make sure y'all understand it's not for reading. I'm a holistic life coach. So if you guys understand that, then I will allow you to have a session with me. I don't allow people that don't understand it. I will have to like let you know before you can set up a session with me what that means, okay? One hour over the phone or in person if you are in New Jersey. 30 minutes over the phone only. All right, y'all. Shoot me an email if you guys want to have a session with me. All right, y'all. The website is on the community board. My um, Instagram for my serene, my um, candles is Serene um, Naturals. It's S-E-R-E-N-E. And -E -E -A, a T U R A L S underscore. The link is in the bio if you guys want to um, order any of my spiritual inner healing candles. There's three of them. I am blessed. I am healed. And the white one is called I am enough. Okay. Those are available for pre sale. So, let me tap in, y'all, because I know I'm up here doing all these pre-recordings. I got to go, y'all. I got to go. Get my life together. I'm going away. Well, I'm away now, So, but I'm going to tap in, y'all. Y'all know I can't be without y'all for too long, but this is a weekend read, and the weekend read is given, nope, <laughs> block, <laughs> Anybody who's not, that's non-committal or people that have different beliefs from you, people that don't like, and what I mean is like traditions, values, like you guys have standards, you guys have values, you guys is not breaking that for no fucking body. So anyone who think they're going to try to have you break it or come in with some okie doke with you, it's no, boundaries is up. You're not fucking around with nobody no more. So this weekend, your boundaries up to anybody who's not doesn't have the same values as you, who has different beliefs as you. What I mean by that is like how morals. You feel what I'm saying? Um, and you're not committal motherfuckers. Yeah, so fucking no. You're blocking them. Absolutely. So that's the energy for the weekend. So let's get up into this message. Spirit, please take this reading. Only allow positive energy for this reading. Only allow what is up for the palm, which is positive energy. See your spirit guides and angels to protect me. Allow me to see the things you want me to see and what God want me to see and know. All right, y'all. So, hmm. This is the energy for those two cards. You got a bitter motherfucker here. So, it's one person in particular who is non committal to outside of the bunch. I feel like it's broader. It's not just about this person. The weekend is about anybody who's trying to come towards you. Like, you somebody's hoe or something. Trying to flirt with you. Trying to, you feel me? Some shit you not on that don't got the same values or, you know, beliefs. You guys want traditional relationship. You don't want nobody who's going to come and just play with you. Like, you not, you shutting everybody down. That's on that energy. I just feel like that's just what it is. But you got one particular person here who's bitter as fuck because you're not stuck on them, right? Somebody who was been holding back from true love, right? Now your ass unhealed, took your own sword out your fucking back, released this toxic person who was doing, trying to do spiritual manipulation towards you, and now they don't have another opportunity in your life. They're learning a fucking lesson. How about that? How about that? That's what's happening for this motherfucker this weekend. This is somebody who's one of the people that's in your energy. So, let's look at this, y'all. This is a we can read, y'all. Uh, y'all already know how we do what we can read. So, here, let's look at Friday. Let's look at Friday. Let's see what's looking like for Friday for this weekend's read. Mm, Friday, walking away. Ooh, hoo, hoo. So somebody could be walking away from like a family situation. You guys could be walking away from people that you feel like is not valuable to you. 
um somebody is walking away from like i feel like it's it got something to do for some of you guys it's like definitely finance maybe you guys are meant you you're supposed to walk away from some type of shit that's not bringing you any type of abundance into your life i feel like a lot of y'all just walking away from people that just is no value you feel what i'm saying people that's not a that's, that doesn't have any value to you or in your life period look no opportunities yeah that's it's a lot of walking away going on mm. but i feel like some people walk away from a family or a money situation as well too somebody who you walked away from is becoming broke as well too is what i'm saying okay so take that how it resonates for today let's go to saturday spirit oh wait there's another card that's flipped here yeah, there's people that betrays you. So that's you walking away from these people that don't got no value. You feel like doesn't add value to your life. That these people that you you had to heal yourself from these betrayals. That they they caused you. Okay, so. Okay, let's look at Saturday. Mm. Ooh, somebody's not going to be sad. <laughs> I heard somebody's going to be sad on Saturday. Ooh. Somebody's not going to be sad on Saturday. I feel like y'all going to be getting a lot of fucking attention, some type of recognition, um, some type of victory may be happening for y'all. And I also see you guys being very, like, emotionally mature. Like, I just feel like you guys is really, your, your, your energy is good. Your emotions is balanced. Like, you guys is looking good. Look, like, you guys, is because it's because you guys are no longer in the now. And I don't feel like you guys, are, you have no regrets. You got no fucking regrets. And I feel like that's what's bringing you success. It's being emotionally mature. And being in control of your emotions. That's the fucking, and not being in denial. That's right. So I feel like you guys are no longer, y'all ain't sad about a motherfucking thing on tomorrow. Nope. Getting a lot of attention, having a lot of victory, a lot of success. Putting yourself on a fucking pedestal. Mm-hmm. Let's look at Sunday. Healing. Ooh, from a broken heart. Mending your... This weekend looked the fuck good. Normally, it'd be about other people coming out on your weekends, but this looks like this is about you. You gonna be healing on Sunday. You ain't gonna be in no pain. Healing from... It's like you mending your own broken heart. Y'all, I love this. Celebrating. Having fun, maybe it's a party, a birthday party, a marriage, a wedding, or you just celebrating and shit like that. Are you with your family? And you got these people that have been off and on in your life, they're gonna be in the tower moment. They're gonna be in some type of tower. It's gonna be a tower for them that you guys is in this good energy. Cause it's like you not in your head and this person wants to control you. They probably have been trying to control you for a long time, but now they don't got the opportunity to do it. Right? Because you guys for some of y'all, y'all not even attracted to this fucking person no more. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's see what else is going on for the weekend. This is like, normally it'd be about everybody else, but this is about your energy this weekend. It looks really the fuck good. Look at this. That's why you like, no, fuck out of here. Nope, boundaries is up. What fuck is you talking about? Yeah, I feel good. I put myself on a pedestal. I have no regrets right here. I'm not sad. I'm getting a lot of victory, success, attention. But emotionally mature out this bitch like i know i'm in control of my emotions this is good spirit give me some more information about um friday spirit you so remember i told you for some of you somebody you walked away don't have no abundance they have money issues they have nothing going on for themselves this is somebody who you no longer heard about that person who you walked away from is going through it. Look, money. So they haven't. So somebody you walked away from having money issues. Yeah, look, money got jacked. Somebody could have got stole. Money could have got stolen. Something could have happened with their money. Mm. Yep. Yep. Somebody who was who's been trying to affect you or attack you is still watching you some type of way. Remember, big ass fucking liar that you close out a cycle with. After some type of drama. Some of y'all could have blocked them. And this person now was having a lot of thoughts about you sexually. Mm. Look at this person right now. But I feel like you guys had enough of them. Now they depressed. 
This could be a same-sex relationship, but they could be interested in the same sex. Take it how it resonates, you know? Could be some secret shit they got. They ain't telling you about. So, Spirit, let's go on to Saturday. He's depressed. Oh, so for some of y'all, remember how I said y'all not sad and y'all getting some type of tension? You got somebody else. It's like the opposite. You're not sad. You having victory, success, fun, attention. And it's somebody else that's connected to you is depressed about it. And it's a, depressed about life. Yep. Hey, this person had you fucked up. That's somebody who had you fucked up. Now this person's triggered because they're the ones with fucking problems. Spirit is saying this person is no good for you at all. You guys are vibing too high. And this person is want to act fucking crazy. Seeing you vibing too high is not good news to them. And now this is somebody who's fucking crazy as fuck with a whole bunch of fucking problems. Depressed because you guys, it's like the opposite. They depressed because you having success and you not sad over them. And this person sitting back with all you trying to hold back all their feelings. Knowing damn well they depressed over your ass and what's going on in their fucking life. Let's look at Sunday. Broke up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Then we, y'all need to go watch these fucking readings because I swore I did a reading today. Well, yesterday. Well, for y'all, because this is going to be for Friday. So, yesterday, I did a reading. Make sure you go, go see it. Didn't I tell you that somebody was going to break up with somebody they was having some type of affair with? Somebody who they was fucking with on the low, a secret person? They're breaking up with them. Yep. Oh, they not holding on to this person. Mm. This is what's happening. While you up here healing and no longer in pain, somebody's laying something to rest. Because somebody else has meant their broken heart. So this person's laying a relationship to rest. They, they, they're not trying to hold on to so whoever this is. So it's a breakup because they're obsessed with you. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's why they doing it. Because this person's obsessed with you. Now you ain't focusing on them. And now all they can do is focus on you. And ain't no fun no more. So they about to break up with their karmic on Sunday. Mm. Somebody who you're healing from and you no longer hurt over. That's what's going to go down for them on Sunday. Alright, let's go back to Friday, Spirit. What's going on with Friday again? Give me more information. Check yourself. The karmic. That just fell out. They don't got nothing to do with this weekend. You got karmics watching you. Spirit is saying. Checking up on you. Alright. Um, let's go to Friday, Spirit. Drama. Mm. Trash drama. Yeah. So this person who you walked away, did not tell you something about money? They got some drama going on. Somebody, mm. Who they who they're not no longer dealing with, I feel like got something to do with their money situation. Yep. They're not saying no longer dealing with somebody who they could have been married, gave a proposal to, or offer to, dated. Yep. Now with some drama popping off about some money. Somebody taking somebody money. All right, let's go on Saturday. Uh, that's you spoiling your fucking self. That's the fuck right. Didn't I say you're not gonna be sad on Saturday? You're gonna be getting a lot of attention, success, victory. Um like spoil you i'm seeing this about your money too you feel me <laughs> taking care of yourself spoiling your motherfucking self oh and people gonna be gossiping i already said that at the beginning remember people gonna be gossiping because you're getting a lot of attention and you're not fucking in any regrets and you out here not sad about a motherfucking thing so you're gonna have people gossiping about you so um let's go to um sunday spirit I don't want to say that. Let's go to Sunday Spirit. What about Sunday? Tantric sex. Remember I told you they breaking up with somebody? And it was based off of... Look, look at the option. It's either I'm going to be out here fucking around, drinks, drunk sex and stuff, or I'm going to be out here with my collectives. Mm. Yep. Somebody who, yep. 
out here being secretive, doing some little slutty things? Or do I want to have a family? Oh, wow. So this is what's going on. That's why they're going to break up with this karmic. So they're going to be in their head about this on fucking Sunday. Do I want to still be out here in the streets having these drunk sex moments? Or do I want to chill and have this relaxing life with the collectives? Do I want to be out here getting rooms and shit? Or do I want to actually have a fucking family? Do I want to still be living in somebody's basement on the floor and or and getting like rooms to go meet up with my chicks and shit or having them come to somebody else's house that I'm staying with right now? Um, or do I want to have my own place with my own family with the collective? This is what they're thinking of. So I feel like that's what's going to make them break up with this comic. Look, burning evidence. Mm, they have some type of secret, so. Some type of secret, yep. Coming in after you, after putting somebody in their place. Or after you could have put this person in their place. So this person's going to wind up making the decision to come towards you. So this is their, this is their options they're going back and forth with. And I feel like the, the ultimate decision is they're going to come towards you. Yeah. Betrayal. Mm, this person who betrayed you and kept you a secret. Now caught up in their own shit. Gossip. Spirit is warning you guys. This person's under spiritual attack for being promiscuous. And now they're heartbroken because their secrets is coming out, which is causing a tower moment. Because you already know the shit, though. It's like you guys already knew this was going to happen. So, Spirit is warning you guys about this person trying to come back because all they shit is hitting the fucking fan. All of it. And you don't need to be in the midst of this. You don't need to be involved with this person at all. So, Spirit, give me a warning for the weekend for the collectives. What is a warning that the collective can know this weekend? A warning. What is a warning for this weekend for the collective? Fake apology. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all gonna be getting fake apologies from people. People, I heard. People. Fake apology. Possibly from this person. Yep that you broke contracts with look and fake friends i told you so you're gonna be getting fake apologies from these people mm, from your past look sick envious people people that got children communicating towards you because they're insecure you bring out these people insecurities you're gonna be getting fake apologies from somebody or somebody's this fucking weekend okay so be on the quick but remember energy is fluid this could this could resonate for the future another weekend but for some of y'all, a lot of y'all, this is going to play out for y'all this weekend. So be aware of this shit. Let me give you guys an oracle and close out. I'm tired of these people. Get these fake ass apologies. Just because you're doing fucking good. Let me get a, an angel card. My thing is dying. I gotta, that's why I'm speeding this up, y'all. It's, it's dying. I got to gotta, um, charge it. Friend, what um, angel card that we have for the collective? Oh, it's nothing for you to worry, Spirit is saying. No need to worry. You don't need to worry about a motherfucking thing. You guys are protected. You guys are going to be good. Look, 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 big happy changes is coming for you because you guys have now changed the narrative. You now got strong ass boundaries. You're not letting nobody <laughs> fuck up with your traditions, your values, or your beliefs. This is why these big happy changes are coming for you. Hmm. You ain't got shit to worry about. Fuck all these fake ass haters. What the fuck is going on with other people? It has nothing to do with you. Keep your boundaries strong as the fuck you should. Don't let nobody change your values or your worth. All right? I love y'all so much, y'all. Talk to you guys soon. Bye, you guys.